Well, I, I am grateful as the executive director for Slow Food USA to start off this session with an Italian accent. Because <laughs> I, I think that we uh, were fortunate that in Italy, a conversation began 25 years ago with the robust proliferation of fast food that a community of sort of cultural preservationists, activists, had the audacity to actually challenge the idea that food is only fuel, but that actually food is so much more than fuel. I mean, we see this as it continues to rise in public consciousness, and it doesn't go away because every conversation, whether it's public health, economic development, rural degradation, always comes back to food because food is so much more than fuel. I mean, I know that in the US we have this, this sort of horrible Protestant self-loathing idea that we mustn't enjoy ourselves. Um, the, the, the Italians have a, have a different perspective. Um, and, and one that I, 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 I admire is, is the idea of um, food being bioregion, you know, being you know, expression of your bioregion, of biodiversity, of culture, of community, of history, and, and that, that delicate balance between tradition and innovation, between joy and justice. And there is so much joy that I see in the food movement about growing an alternative, but there is also so much tension because of the injustice in this monolithic food system, this food economy, this way of life of only looking at food as fuel or as instant gratification as opposed to much more long-term uh, investment in ourselves and in our communities. And I, I think what's so fascinating and inspiring about the Milano Protocol is that it is a place not only for, as we know we will see for international gatherings, governments will be there, international non-governmental organizations will be there, we know business will be there, but so will civil society. And that this is an opportunity for civil society to, 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 um, to really get a foothold in discourse so it's not just civil society speaking with civil society, but that we actually begin to uh, question the very assumptions that are in all of the international agreements, that the, the, very, the very assumptions that are at the core of our economic model, which is that growth is always good, that scale is always ad admirable, and um, we need to actually rejigger what are our definitions of what success is, um, what health is, um, and that our ultimate goal is to create balance and community. And so that is the promise of this very ambitious Milano Protocol, and we hope that it will not yield the result of other protocols and other agreements that we know are the stranglehold of government and the, um, uh, the purveyors of scale and monolith. Very good. Thank so. you.